Mastering the Market Cycle by Howard Marks, the free market system facilitates the allocation of economic resources and encourages efficiency. Welcome to yourbooksummary.com. It's important to understand that the term free market system can be misleading. This is because government regulations and central bank actions help balance the ups and downs of economic cycles. For example, central banks like the US Federal Reserve Bank work to combat inflation by limiting the money supply, increasing interest rates, and trading securities. At the same time, they also try to boost employment by supporting economic growth. However, these two goals can sometimes work against each other, so a counter-cyclical approach is necessary. Governments also play a role in directing economic growth rates. During tough economic times, they may increase spending and cut taxes, while during periods of economic growth, they may do the opposite. It's all about finding the right balance to ensure stability and growth in the long term. It's worth noting that certain industries are more susceptible to the ups and downs of the economic cycle than others. While corporate profit cycles generally follow the market cycle, they tend to be more volatile than GDP due to the impact of various non-economic factors on sales. Factors like price reductions, new product launches, and financing availability can all influence sales figures. It's also important to note that an increase in revenue only sometimes equates to higher profits, as each company's operating costs and debt obligations can vary significantly. I hope you found the information about Mastering the Market Cycle by Howard Marks. If you're interested in learning more about the book, stay tuned for the next part of this series where we'll dive into the next section. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.